What's up, everyone? How's everyone doing today? Good afternoon to those of you who are on the East Coast, and good morning to those of you here on the West Coast. Hope everyone's having a great Monday. Hope your week has gotten off to a good start. You guys know who I am. I am the Sports Judge. Welcome in, as always, to my sports channel. I, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and supporting what I do. The Eagles proved to me on Sunday night that they are a Super Bowl team. I mean, no way they were going to lose in those beautiful Kelly Green uniforms. They, they are clearly, clearly one of the top teams in football. And, and last season, they got to the Super Bowl with basically the same players they have now. Now, they lost some some players on defense. Um, that usually happens. They, they lost two of their, their coordinators who both uh, got head coaching jobs in in the NFL, but this is still a very, very good team, and we saw that last night. Now, this was the main event against the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins are a good team in their own right, but they've been beaten up on bad teams, substandard teams. They haven't really played great teams on their schedule. They have had a winnable schedule, games that they should be winning, and they took care of business, right? But then they play against a very good Eagles team, and they get punched in the mouth uh, playing a, a very, very good Eagles team. Uh, Miami's, you might remember from a year ago, Miami's five-game winning streak uh, was criticized because each victory came against teams that would miss the playoffs, right? Teams that weren't uh, very good or weren't very convincing, and I felt like last night, although they hung in there, uh, you know, they had a lot of shortcomings. You know, they had a lot of penalties. They had a lot of turnovers. And, I mean, you know, you didn't get an all-pro performance on the defensive side of the ball. This Miami team is very flashy. Um, they're exciting to watch. It's a fun team. You know, and I like their coach. I, I think Mike McDaniel does a good job each week. He's always coming up with new stuff. And that's a good business model, right? You you want to be innovative. And that's one thing I can say about Miami. They're always trying things new. They're always trying to create new things on offense. Very innovative. I mean, that's a great business mindset to have. You know, you want to be innovative. You want someone that's going to try things new. It's great for business. And that's what it is. But again, the Miami Dolphins can't beat very good teams. And when they play teams with winning records, they they lose. Both the both teams they played with winning records this season, they lost by two touchdowns. You know, so I mean it's I mean, although again, they 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 hung tight against the Eagles. The Eagles clearly showed why they are the better team. And and we know that much about uh the Eagles. You know, the Eagles are just a really, really, really good team. You know, they play really well. Um, Jalen Hurts is going to do his thing. Um, you know, the Dolphins' defensive backs um, were out. The Dolphins' defensive backfield has been without J uh, Jalen Ramsey all season. And in Week 7, they were also without Xavier Howard. Uh, so they didn't have all their pieces in the secondary. Um, the Dolphins had to battle Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, who was sensational once again uh, last night. Um, on offense, they were without their uh, starting left tackle center. Uh, their left guard went down with an injury uh, during the first half. And, and Jalen uh, Rattle fought through a back injury the whole game. So, I mean... You know, you have some players banged up and beat up and everything. And then the Eagles, man, they just have a great defense. Darius Slay back there reading reading the play. Kind of know kind of know what's going to happen before it happens. Darius Slay reads the field perfectly well. You saw the pick that he got last night. Uh, that changed the momentum late in the game. The, um, the Dolphins can't say they had a chance. They had many opportunities they they blew it they were undermanned uh they they remained competitive for most of the game which to me was very impressive and again i like the dolphins they're an exciting team we always talk about how tyreek hill is unguardable 
that he's uh that you can't defend him. Um, he's dangerous in open field. Uh, we know he's obviously the best uh, pass catcher in the league. No question about it, because we all know how dangerous he is um, in open field. There's no catching this guy. This guy is lightning fast. We talk about how the Miami Dolphins are fast. They're 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 they like a speedboat, right? They're they're really quick. They're athletic. They got cheetahs out there running wild, you know, all over the field. But you know, at some point, the Dolphins were going to meet a very good team, and they were tested. They were tested, and they didn't pass the test against a very good Eagles team. Um, it's not surprising that they go down to the Eagles. Um, the Eagles again are just very a very good team. They're picking up from where they left off last season. They're they're they're, they're going back to the Super Bowl. I I think I, I can see them going back to the Super Bowl. I know I'm changing up here because I said the 49ers are the team that can't be beaten. I don't know. I think you're going to see a matchup of the 49ers and the Eagles in the NFC uh championship game and then we will know more. Um we'll know more, you know, but the Dolphins had their moments on Sunday. But 10 penalties on the road uh, to the Eagles, it's not going to help you win the game. You know, then you have the injuries on top of that. Um, You're forced to play against a very good team um, that is not going to give you too many opportunities to, um, you know, hang around or make the game convincing. Um, You know, but the Dolphins, man. They're going to be in contention. They're going to be a playoff team. I just don't think that they are going to go very far because, look, they're built to win in the months of September, October, but they're not built to win in the months of November, December, January. It's starting to catch up to them. You're starting to see it more and more. Um, And the Eagles, man, the Eagles, they... They run the ball consistently well. Uh, They got a great signal caller who can make throws and find his intended targets. Um, They got a bunch of playmakers out there. And that that was the storyline coming into this game. Everyone was talking about Tua versus Jalen Hurts because, you know, they're both Alabama products. They both were teammates. They both played together. And, you know, we we got a glimpse, right, of the two uh, going head to head against each other, and Jalen Hurts obviously uh, won the battle. Jalen Hurts was clearly the the better uh, the better uh, quarterback out there on the playing field, and and we saw it last night. But the Eagles, man, I think this is a team that's in good business. Uh, they can get back to the Super Bowl with their play on the field, absolutely. Um, and I mean they're. They, they got off to a slow start, even though they were winning games, which is weird, right? They got off to a slow start, but they still found ways to win. You know, it took them time to gel together, to uh, get on the same page with their new coordinators and everything. But I think the Eagles are doing just fine. They're doing just fine. They got one loss on the season. It happens. It's any given Sunday. You can't expect to win them all. But uh, the Eagles, to me, are one of the top teams in the NFC, and they clearly showed it yesterday against the Miami Dolphins. And the Miami Dolphins, I wouldn't say they're frauds. I would just say that they don't match up well against a team like the Eagles. And even though they're flashy, they they tend to be a bit overhyped. That doesn't mean much of anything. That just means that they're a good team that can't beat a tougher opponent. That's all it is, you know. But... I think the Dolphins are good in the AFC East. They're clearly favorites in that um, in that division, no doubt. And the Eagles are doing their thing in the NFC East. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys very soon. Take care, everyone.